If there's a safe moment on the straight and hideous main road from High Wycombe to Oxford, look up at that extraordinary group on the hilltop. It was put there on purpose to terminate the view 200 years ago, and it's well worth climbing the hill to see. The old church on the hilltop was greatly beautified inside by Sir Francis Dashwood, and on the top of the tower he built a golden ball. You can't miss West Wickham, which is 32 miles from London. You see its mausoleum and ball as soon as you leave High Wycombe on the Oxford Road. Take four. Hello, my name's Lawrence Power, and I'm the Artistic Director of the West Wickham Chamber Music Festival. And I'd like to invite you today to this beautiful corner of Buckinghamshire, an area that I was fortunate enough to grow up in, and this wonderful venue behind me, where each year I'm privileged to invite my closest musical friends and colleagues and share really exciting and dynamic programmes with our wonderful audience here. Sadly, we can't present our music this year to a live audience. And for sure, as a performing musician myself, I miss the live music experience now more than ever. To sit in a venue and concentrate on one thing in our noisy lives is a beautiful, rare opportunity. But we don't have that now. And I feel very excited by the challenge that's being presented to us now. And I certainly am elated to be joined on this voyage of discovery with some of my closest friends and colleagues this year. I very much look forward this month to presenting you with three very special films. We've been filming here some of our most beloved chamber music in a very different way. While we sadly can't be together to experience this music, we found much creativity and challenge in how to film music, how we can present it and how we can somehow recreate the ethos of this festival that means so much to me. I very much look forward to inviting you to enjoy these three films, the two performance films and the masterclass film. Music education of course is, is so so important to us all and at the festival each year we have a masterclass which has become a wonderful way to meet some of this country's most talented musicians. We'll be inviting Vilda Frang, the wonderful Norwegian violinist, Pavel Kalesnikov, wonderful Russian pianist, John Myerskov, Timothy Riddart, various incredibly exciting musical personalities. And for the first time, I very much look forward to sharing that on film with you too. Each year, as we gather here at this beautiful venue you see behind me, it's very hard, even more so this year, to forget the wonderful local poet and composer Ivor Gurney. These beautiful Chiltern Hills meant so much to him. And now, looking at his work written a hundred years ago, during the First World War, during the Spanish flu, somehow his words resonate even more today. His poem, Beauty, for me encapsulates this feeling of missing things beautiful, in our case music and our festival. Beauty. I cannot live with beauty out of mind. I search for her and desire her all the day. Beauty, the choicest treasure you may find. Most joyous and sweetest word his lips can say. The crowded heart in me is quick with visions and sweetest music born of a brighter day. But though the trees have long since lost their green, and I, the exile, can but dream of things grown magic in the mind, I watch the sheen of frost and hear the song Orion sings. Yet, oh, the star-born passion of Beethoven, man's consolation sung on the quivering strings. Beauty immortal, not to be hid, desire of all men, each in his fashion. Give me the strong thirst, past satisfaction for thee, and fire not to be quenched. Oh, lift me, bear me along, 
touch me, make me worthy that men may seek me for beauty, mistress immortal, healer of wrong. Thank you. 